Whoa. Hey. So this is gonna be uh my first end of the year ramble thing. So how these would usually start out would be oh man. I don't have much water, crap, oh well. How these would start out would usually be me like watching a, a video or a recording or something, but I didn't really do that. Um, the only thing I can remember is, or are the resolutions I made. So I think one of them was like, what was, what was one of them like? I think get a job in the, the field I'm, I'm going for. Uh, another one was to like be a certain weight. Now that one I remember. And I think another one was to go to Japan or something like that. So basically the long and short of it is they're all, all of them fail pretty much. I didn't go to, to Japan like at all. Um, I didn't get the job in my field. Uh, and I did not reach whatever goal weight I set out for myself. So maybe I can go to the other ones, but they're like, like I was really gunning for to be, be in a healthier state. Now, one thing that could be argued, oh yeah, I should, should say, the mic is gonna sound different because I'm recording on my phone and not on my webcam. So, sorry about that. Um, but going back to what I was saying, uh, was it the weight thing? Yeah, so one could say that, actually, let me just bring up the weight thing. Like, okay, I, I look back and I uh, started on, a, I was 211.6 and, uh, January, I think, 5th or 6th. This is either late at night or early in the morning when I'm recording this, so apologies for yawning to anyone who's going to be watching this. Uh, so yeah, 211.6. Now I am 193. And like, in my opinion, wait, how much is that again? Wait, 93, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, boom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twenty-three pounds, like twenty-three, twenty-four pounds. That's how much weight I lost, basically, basically throughout the whole year. Uh, like, I was struggling, pretty much, um, despite, despite some of the muscle I've been, you know, working on for like the past like year and a half, or is actually starting to show. I can actually see it and it's actually noticeable for other people. So I've actually, I've cut out, I've actually cut out a, a bunch of fat, but I've also put on muscle, which is what I want to do. So um, that's the whole point of a body recomp, right? The whole point of a body recomp is that it's going to take a bit, it's going to take longer because you're not just focused on losing the fat. You're also uh, replacing that with muscle. So you're kind of doing both, which I don't know. I see so many people say it's not true. It's true. There's so many videos and stuff, but like, I'm just going to go with, uh, Jack's blade. So far he's never let me wrong. Um, but yeah, like you can do a body recomp. It's just going to take a long time, you know, but if you want, it, it is possible. At least for me, it's been possible, I guess. Um, but still I've... I don't feel like I did enough, even though I injured my elbows and I, I need to buy elbow braces so they can heal faster. Um, one of the reasons why I haven't been going to the gym basically for like what, three weeks at this point. Um, well, one, because I wanted to take it, actually take a deload because I, I never really took a break. Um, Cause I always thought I was I was lagging behind. I was always thought I wasn't doing enough. But 
I think so. I, I, it's probably one of the reasons why I messed up my elbows. But um, but other than taking a deload, and it was also because I've been on this like content driving high. Maybe because I actually have time, or what I deem enough time for me to actually like focus on something. Because I, it, it making this stuff is kind of like playing an RPG, where like. I need more than an hour, maybe even two hours to get into it. Like, that's like a warm up, you know, four or five hours. That's like when I'm really getting into the groove, uh, groove of it, you know. Or sometimes like fighting games too. Like, it takes like an hour for me to really get into it. Like, to really feel like I've warmed up and I'm ready, you know. Um, but yeah, like, I guess, I mean, I guess it, it depends on perspective. Did I lose weight? Yes. So was it a, a success? Yes. Am I at my goal weight of like, was it 175? 170? Nope. Am I closer than I was last year? Yeah. Do, am I showing some muscle, muscularity? Yeah. Do I look bigger in frame? Yeah. Uh, so I, I guess, but still, I, I wish I, I did more. Um, like health wise, I don't think anything bad so far, you know. Um, oh, another thing, I want, I'm trying to get my flexibility back. Uh, I really want to be able to do the splits. I've never done the splits ever. I've never been able to do it. Um, so it, it always seemed impossible for me, right? So I'm doing that, uh, or I was, like, I don't know. Um, it's just been hard uh, working out because like it's fun. I do enjoy it and it is relaxing, but I, I don't know. Like, I, mm, it's like I'm comparing myself to how I was before and it's like, I don't want to be like that. But at the same time, at my healthiest, right? I was leaner, but then, and all this is, this could probably change everything. Uh, this is the note to anyone who watched who's watching this. Uh, take pictures of yourself. I've never, I never really took any body pictures. I've never just, I've never done that. I think that's what's like hurting my progress or hurting the motivation and discipline is like, I, I say that I'm not seeing any progress. That's cause I haven't, I, I haven't been consistent with taking pictures. Cause to me, I just look the same, if not worse some days. So, um, that's been, there's, there's that. Also, another thing is like, I, it's weird, like how I don't think I'm improving, but I am improving. Like I'm able to run four miles in like 40 minutes or so. Um, wasn't able to do that at the beginning of the year. Now nah, I'm back able to do that. I wasn't able to do that until I was like, what? And like it's it, it's not that I can do it. It's like yeah, I could always do it, but that'll be like so tired. Now I'm able to do it, and like I'm not I'm nowhere near as tired because my my stamina is up and my my speed is up, right? So that's good. Uh, when it comes to that, uh, it's like I just recover faster. Um, I I just look back on how like at the beginning of the year, like I was doing that. I was really working on those stair climbers. Like this man, I love the stair climber. You know, I don't use it as much. I should get back to using it again. But like, man, I was on that stair climber for like three, no, no, not three months, uh, two months. Yeah, two months. It, re it, it legit works, man. It it really helped in the, in the stamina endurance. Like did that for like 30, 40, 45 minutes sometimes. Man, it makes other stuff look like a breeze. Trust me, so if anyone who's doubting the stair climber, I'm telling you, stair climber, one of the most underrated and and it's one of the most underrated like machines slash exercises and uh, not enough not enough people use it in my opinion. Um, so yeah, there's there's a uh, there's that. Um, any other stuff? Oh, my shoulder, the front part of my shoulder, that's still messed up. I think I'm gonna have to have surgery to get it fixed at this point, but I don't I don't have the money to do that, so yeah. 
And even if I, well, if I, if I did have the money to do it, then I'll probably have the money to be out of work. Cause I'll probably have to be out of work for like, I'm going to say at least a week or two because you know, I need, I need the shoulder or it's like the front part. I don't know what it's called, but yeah, like it, it's, I don't know what happened, but uh, that need, that need like an MRI or something. Um, so I think that's everything that's physical health wise. Um, but yeah, that, that really like messed with me mentally though. How I don't think I'm making any progress on stuff. Um, or I don't think I'm doing enough. And like, this is something I don't, I don't talk about a lot. And it's to the point where I forget about it too. But like, uh, my dysthymia, like, and I, I mean, I guess, cause I don't talk about it because first of all, I don't want to bring it up. But like, I, I just legit just, I forget about that. And then if I, um, like certain things happen and I'm like, oh yeah, I have that. That's why it's like that. But because I, I remove that so much that I completely, like, it doesn't factor into the equation, but that, that definitely, that and the, the, the dysthymia and the com combination of like just being too hard on myself. It, it's like a, a recipe for disaster. Um, so yeah, that really messed with me mentally. And uh, so yeah. Uh, oh, another thing I wanted to do, um, learn Japanese. So that's another thing I think I failed at. I, I don't think I did enough to, like, I think I could have done a lot more in terms of learning Japanese. Even, at, even it's, it's true that, you know, doing, it's really doing small stuff every day for being consistent, but like, there was a month where I just wasn't consistent. I just gave, not gave up, but like, it was like a hiatus. I was like, Togashi. And uh, yeah, I just didn't do it. So, I think this year I'm just gonna like kick my ass and I'm gonna pay for a, a, a plan. And it's like, well, now you have money on the line, so you better do it. Um, sometimes having a fire lit under my ass is like, like Sakurai, you know, Sakurai is the goat. But yes, like sometimes having a fire like lit under my ass is, uh, it's how I, things get done, right? So just like, I think I know more and I can kind of sort, I, I kind of sort of have a, a better familiarity with it, but like, I still think I could have done a, a lot more and comprehend more, you know? Um, so yeah, I, I think all this stuff kind of like snowballed and it made me want to become a content creator. See, I said, oh, cool, I segue into that part. So. Uh, it's, honestly, I don't, you know what? Let me look it up real quick. Let me look it up real quick. I don't remember what I did first. Did I stream first or did I, let's see, video, nine months, nine months. I'm gonna have to mute this. This is about to be like really loud. Actually, before I do that, we're just gonna. Damn, I streamed. I streamed a lot. Uh, testing. I mean, technically, the first stream was the testing stream, and then there's the nightly stream of Halo Infinite. So let's just do this one. Uh, da 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 ta. I'm March seventeenth. All right, March seventeenth. And, uh, March 17th, March 15th. Okay. So yeah, my cover, my cover of bad guy or Billy Eilish, right? Uh, let's go back here. Let's go back to the discord. I right. look at my, I have a, I think, I don't know if I said it, but I have a list right here. I was on my phone, I was thinking about stuff and I just copy and pasted it. 
Uh, so yeah, the bad guy cover. I don't know what came, honestly, I don't know what came over me. I just, I think that ov overall, I forgot ex the details exactly. I think it took me about three to four days to record it. Um, to get a good recording that I, I liked. And then it took like another three to four days, like on and off editing, mixing and stuff to do that. Now, like, I don't know why I did that. I, I don't know why. Uh, I'm not really that, I, I'm not really a Billie Eilish fan. I only know that one song. And I, I think she did the opening song for No Time to Die. I still haven't seen that movie. I still need to watch it. Um, yeah, like it was interesting. I think it's because I was, I really like Gura's and, and Crony's like version. I don't know. Both of those, those girls are really good singers, by the way. Um, oh, and Chloe too. Yeah, Chloe, Chloe, hers was good too. Yeah, I, I honestly don't know why I decided to do that. Like, it was just, let's just do it. And then it just kind of happened and then I released it. Um, and then that's like the, that was the beginning of me being a, a YouTuber or a content creator. Like content creator, that's so cringe, but that's what it is. Like, I don't want to say video maker, even though it technically is. And I could te technically say artist. Cause I mean, I, I recorded, I edited, I mixed, I did all that, you know? Um, I'll say not bad for a, a first try doing all that by myself. Cause I usually, I'll just do the recording part or the playing instrument or singing part, but I did everything. So that was fun. Um, what's another one? So yeah, that, that's pretty much it with that. I, that was pretty cool. Uh, but now it's like, it's a lost in the times. Like, you have to go back and find that. I don't think I'm ever gonna share that again. I mean, I shouldn't say never say never. Maybe I'll just, I'll share it. What? And if people see it, they see it. But yeah, that, that's that's it. I need to go back. I should know, now I know more about these video tags and stuff. I should do that. Um, I didn't do it back then. So yeah. Um, I want to do more covers. I, I, I have ideas and this goes into like the video about the reflection or reflecting on being a content creator. I've had multiple ideas of doing stuff and like, I don't know, something just happens and it puts me down. It's like why I shouldn't do that? Or why I won't, I don't think I'm good enough to do that. So I gotta stop doing that, I gotta do more covers. There's a cover I kind of want to do, but I have to ask. So I have to ask somebody if I could for the instrumental. Um, so, hold on. Um, there we go. So, yeah, that. Um, sorry, I was feeling congested. I heard, I looked up online like one time, it's like you just do like a breathe, breathing through your mouth is like. Mm, you do that to like open up your vocal cavity or something like that. Honestly, I was so cool. I was so like worried about my voice being deep that like I didn't think about my voice sounding good. So now I have to work on that, and I don't know really like how to do that. Hopefully, this this information on the internet is actually like legit, and I don't break a vocal cord or something. I don't know. So yeah, going to streaming. It's like I guess my first stream was Halo Infinite, but um, and after that was Dark Souls Three. Um, yeah, streaming on YouTube, it's fun, streaming is fun in general, um, making all those videos or making content is actually fun, you know, 
it's one of those things like playing music where there are pains in it, but there are pains that you're like, yeah, I can deal with it, you know, because overall you like what you're doing. You know what I mean? Like, I think if, if you know, you know, it was always like, oh, there's something to bitch about, but like, you know, you, you're gonna do it anyways because you, you like it. So, you know, uh, that was, that was cool. Uh, so yeah, I stream, like I said, Dark Souls 3. Uh, I didn't stream the entire thing. I know that, but it was cool. I beat my first Souls game. It's weird because I have Dark Souls 1 for the 360. I have Bloodborne for PS4. I have Sekiro for PS4. I have Dark Souls 3 for PC. Yet, yeah, like, I've only beaten one of them. Sekiro's too hard. I, I don't know if I can do that, dude. But that was, like, legit. That was just fun, man. Like, I, I didn't think I spent as much. Like, I spent more time in that game than I thought I was going to spend. But at the same time, I spent, like, less time. That's that's crazy how those, that, that works out. Like, for real. Um, I do want to go back on New Game Plus. I kind of want to stream that, like, me on New Game Plus or wherever I am at, at the point, at this point. Um, and get to the DLC, because I, I didn't play the DLC. I hear you. <sighs> Excuse me. I have to get better at talking, because I hear there's something where if you're not getting enough air in your lungs, your body will, like, have a reaction where you go on to get air. So. Hydration check, by the way. Not sponsored. Shout out to Gamer Subs, though. That mango mango thing they have, that's, actually, that's legit. That's actually pretty good. I, 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 I gotta get more. I gotta get more. I need it. I want it. I need it. So, going back to this, though, right? So yeah, streaming, like I said, streaming is fun, especially when there's like, there's someone who can buy, if that if that makes any sense. Like, you know, you, you have people who chat, you know, that's cool, you know, like, like that, and that's very much appreciated that they're actually, they're there watching you, they think you're, you're worth watching, right? But then there's like, because you know, there's, there's always a different type of people when it comes to streams and videos too, but like, there's the people who have them in the background, you know? Like they're they're only listening, but it's like in the background type of type of deal. Um, that's what I kind of do. That's why a lot of the people I like are people who I could just have in the background because they just know how to talk, you know. Uh, and they, they can they're they're entertaining. I don't actually have to watch the video. Um, or usually the the videos are streamed like commentary or reaction, but they're able to talk. Like, the gear, they're able to get their, well, yeah, they're obviously able to talk. Like, I'm st stupid. But they're able to get their point out, right? And it's not boring. So, um, there's, like, there are those people. And there's people who are, like, like really, like, really interactive with the chat. Um, and when you get, like, those viewers, you know, um, and it's, like, you're both vibing about a game or it's, like, this, it's a game that they like, that they're passionate about. You know, they're, they're talking about it and stuff and, you know, or if it's a game that both of you guys like, that's even better. You know, you both like back and forth. Like it's a vibe and it's it's really cool. Um That's a that's always a a cool thing, right? However, I do have to say that like streaming and stuff was scary. Not really scary, but like it was intimidating because like there's no when I said first few streams there really wasn't anybody there except for two people but you know they can't be there all night because of time zones um because i usually i stream late like when i mean late i'm talking about 11 12 at night right and uh these people have work in like the morning meanwhile i work in the afternoon all all the way up to like late at night so uh yeah, it, it, it sucks. That sucks. And I think 
not gonna say it or hurt my content or anything like that it's just different um because like when i've since i've been streaming like every single day on the days i'm off i stream earlier like what, four five something like that i it's i tend to get more people and the people that are there those two people that were there from like basically day one uh they're they're there longer you know because it's not like at midnight for me which is what one or two in the morning for them for other people you know so you know i guess it's, i guess it's more of a growing pain is yeah it's a growing pain of being an adult having a job and all that stuff and it's one of the reasons why i wanted to get a new job but that kind of goes into the like i'm being scared of change and that's another thing like as much as I, I want things to change, I'm also scared of the change because I don't know what's going to happen. And it's, it's, it's uncertain, right? So, like, I'm, I'm worried about if, if I get like a new job that's in my field and knowing how the field is, like, will I be able to keep this stuff up? Like making content on a, consistent basis that I feel comfortable with you know which probably yeah it's just gonna take some time you know it's just gonna have to adapt I mean I've I've been adapting to everything so far you know this shouldn't really be any different at this point right but um yeah it's just change is scary but it can be much needed which is why I just started being a content creator because like something needed to change in my life and i also i wanted a, a new hobby and maybe it should be the thing i've been thinking about doing ever since i was like what 10 11 um so yeah me wanting to be a creator now like why daddy wanted to do this as i said it's like i i've always i've been watching people from from like the game manic to the arch fiend if you know those two people shout out to you um undertaker freak 1127 black buster show black buster critic shokyo uh uh seventh level uh you guys call him jtech tv i call him pyro pyro 2000x um you know those are like some of the people I grew up with. Oh, Screw Attack, you know, can't forget that. Like the nerd, um, the, these people, say it would say Shane Dawson, but I didn't really grow up. I, like I watched Shane Dawson for like two months and then I stopped, but I kept watching everybody else. So I don't know why I'm thinking about that dude, whatever. <laughs> uh, but he kind of came to mind though. But like, yeah, no, no, I wasn't really inspired by him. Um, but like all the other people uh, I was thinking about, like I said, Screw Attack, um, Spoonie. I was a pretty big Spoonie fan. Like, like Spoonie makes me want to play Ultima. And I don't know where I'm going to play it because I don't think they make those games anymore. Uh, or sell them. But uh, yeah, like these people that, oh, some call me Johnny. I can't forget. Like, okay. I could basically make another video talking about all these people if I want to. If people are actually interested, and if you stuck around this far in the video, um, hashtag Blaziken. Actually, no, no, no. It is Blaze Kick, right? Okay. Blaze Kick. Blaze Kick is a good one. Okay. Hashtag. Blaze kick. So if, if you've been here, if you're here so far, hashtag blaze kick. Oh no, no, not hashtag blaze kick. Uh blaze kick. There you go. Yeah, that that's how I know if people have actually been watching. And I know we've actually been watching. Don't say you watched it. I know. Ah. 
No, but uh, okay, but back to it though. Um, um, so yeah, I don't know, I kind of just lost track, but yeah, I just, I just wanted to do this stuff, dude. I wanted to do this stuff. Um, and then like when Hollow Myth came out, that that was kind of like the okay, do it, do it, right? That just them all together, really. But if I had to pick like a certain pair or person, it'll, it'll probably be Kiara and Callie. Like. I adore them so much. I look up to them. They're so they're so cool. Uh, I stop. I started creating and I stopped tweeting. You know, I didn't really tweet that much, but you know what I mean. I started like doing something, I'm trying to I, 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 look. Look, if it fails, at least you can say you tried to be productive, right? I can say I tried to be productive. I actually at least tried to do this shit. You know, and I put in. I put in an actual effort to do this and wanting to learn and grow and get better uh so far i think it worked maybe i don't know hmm. it's gonna be the question i'm always gonna think about uh do i think i'm a better creator now than when i started yes definitely i think i am um you know, despite the whole thing I talked about, about the, you know, me, like, I don't know, maybe I'm, I, maybe I was too burnt out, but like, there was something that was preventing me from, from doing it. It like, it kind of made, it got to the point where streaming wasn't fun, you know, cause I, I, I always look forward to stream. Streaming is like going to the gym. I actually look forward to it, you know? And when I can't do it, I kind of feel, I feel bummed. But, um, even when I, if I have a bad day, you know, just go to the gym, pump some, pump some reps, you know, um, do some backflips or some push-ups, go running, uh, this stuff just makes me feel good. Um, it's similar to streaming, you know, you know, laughing at stuff, playing a game, people there, you know, me, being, me knowing that I'm entertaining people or there, they find my stuff meaningful enough to watch consistently right um i think that that stuff makes me feel better about doing this but um yeah i, I do think i'm a better creator now i have quite a i don't say quite a bit well i guess I, yeah i say i have quite a bit of experience of like I, i've learned so much Right, but there's still so much to learn. Um, it's, it's very, um, let's say, like it's it's very, it, it's weird. Like it's like I'm very humble because of that, but at the same time, like I'm I'm, I'm greedy and I want to know more and I want to do more. You know, it's one of this is like one of those things where it's time consuming, but it's fun. Like I actually find this stuff fun to do. Um, it's kind of like experimenting, you know, or making music. But yeah, I definitely think I'm a better creator now than I was before. Um, even though, like, I, I, I don't know, I'll still say I'm, I'm, I'm still disciplined. Like, because I was streaming, what, three days a week, maybe have a video over one to two weeks or something like that. Um, clips, memes, or whatever. But like... I always adhere to that schedule. It was always something I look forward to. And I'm gonna probably still continue doing that. Like stream. Now I've been streaming every single day for like a while. For like, this is the one day where I'm not doing it because I'm recording this video and possibly doing another video or editing a clip from a stream. I say a clip, but it's like 20 minutes. I mean, I, it's still technically a clip. It was, like the stream is like two and a half hours long. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I do think I'm better. But I, I do think there's a lot more room for improvement um, on like how, to, how the whole algorithm, 
how the whole algorithm works. Um, and like being a better talker and being a better entertainer and being a better, being better at interacting with chat. Um, that's cool. Uh, yeah. yeah, like, dude, it's just really cool when you have people in chat. Like, I've been, ever since I've been doing this streaming every day, I've been having more people on average in my chat. And it's been fun. I've been playing Doom Eternal. And it's fun. I'm getting more, like, I, I mean, I guess these algorithms are discoverability works. I'm getting these people, like, Doom, was a Doom fan something? Doom, Doom guy fan something something? And get another person and their their profile is is the mark of the slayer and all these doom fans which is cool uh hopefully they stay around they're all chill people they, they've been pretty fun pretty positive you know i'm, I'm trying to like I'm, I'm i listen eris is also okay that's not an old well he is old but like it's more of someone new i've been watching very good streamer He's someone who doesn't have all the fucking fancy shit. Like he really, he really doesn't need all that fancy shit. It's it's very simple. He has an old ass camera that sometimes turns green, <laughs> and he's hilarious. And he just knows how to talk. Now, granted, you can say, well, that's, first of all, he's a he knows how to commentate. He was a commentator as well as a player for Tekken, but also he's been doing this for almost a decade. So, of course, him and Max, Maximilian, do know how to do it, you know. If, if they if they don't know how to do it, and they've been doing it for that long, you know, that would be a crazy. Like, not in a good way, but no, they, they both know how to do it. They know how to interact with chat, even though they both do it in different ways. But they they know how to do it. Um, they're, and I'll say they're very good at their craft. But I'm um, going back to Eris. Like, I'm trying to be as as positive as possible and i like trying to not that fake positivity shit but like just not trying to be around people who are negative all the time you know constructive criticism is one thing but I'm not trying to be around people just like make me feel negative or or in a, in a as i say bad headspace like i'm trying to just be around like some just chill ass real ass people irl and online and uh that's why i um, I'm glad I made this, see, it sounds like, it sounds pretentious when I say this, but like, I, I'm glad I made this community, you know, um, just chill down to earth people, because that's what I want. Um, that's like my goal, really, is to create a community like that, because like, the people I watch, they did that, so I'm like, well, why can't I do that, you know? Um, I mean, it'll, it'll be, it's going to be hard work, but that it, it'll be time consuming, but that doesn't mean that it, it's not feasible. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, there's, uh, there's that. It'll be fun. It's been fun. And, uh, hopefully it'll, it'll continue to be fun. And hopefully I can I can meet new people and meet more people. So as an inspiration for why I'm doing this now, I I pretty much said that like yeah, the, the kick in the door has been like like Hollow Myth, like Kali and Kiara are let's say very very precious to me. Um, however. In, 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 hmm. The thing is, is that like, see, some it some sounds weird. Like, oh, they're just like VTubers. That's what your inspiration is. Even though it's not, I guess I already said it's not. My, my I have I have tons of people, you know, who inspire me to do this. Um, people from online, people from you know, personal stuff, or people from my past. But like the past two years, like pretty much, yeah, yeah. Because ever like I said, ever since Hollow Myth debuted, but there's been one that's 
one person is also a VTuber and she's really good. And like, also proves that, you know, you don't have to be good at games or anything like that in order to entertain a lot of people, you know? And uh, yeah, it's a Scarla Yonoguni from Niji Sanji. Like she's really good, very entertaining, very, very cute. But like how she approaches content is also very admirable, I would say. Um, just the variety of it and just always trying new things. And that's something I want to do. I want to try, I want to like try new things or and stop like putting myself down. Just do it. Like, just like, like Nike, just do it. Even if it's gonna take a while, just do it and get it out. And if it's cool, do more. If you, if you end up like, oh, I don't really do, wanna do this, don't do it. But at least you try it. It's better than just sitting here, not doing it and putting myself down. And then I'm like feeling bad or something like that. Um, yeah, really, really good. Uh, should I have started sooner? Yeah, this is kind of like a dumb question to be honest. It's like, yeah, it would have, could have, should have, but you know, we're we're in, we're in the now. We're thinking about right now, and that's all that matters is like what we're doing right now. But I kind of wish I I started sooner just to have more experience. Um, but I'm I'm glad I I started just in general. Um, see, so yeah, I think that's everything content wise like i think i talked about yeah like how back in back in the day even some sometimes now like it's been getting better that's cool like because i don't i don't want to sound ungrateful or anything like that for for talking about like low views or like sometimes where i stream it nobody shows up for like the first hour hour and a half and it's not as if I can talk to people because all the people that I, I could, like like a Discord chat or something like that, all the people I could do that with, they're I, they're asleep, you know, or they're they're doing their own thing, you know. I don't want to bother them, and also I want to be able to do this. Like I need to be able to do this. I can't rely on anybody. I want to be able to do this on my own, right? So. That's, that's something. Like, like hmm. Uh, I think something like that happened in November, October? Where like, I, I, I didn't like, I guess set up, set up. I was like, I was gonna play multiplayer games with people and then like nobody showed up at all for the stream. So I was like, oh damn, nobody wants this. Nobody likes this shit. Nobody wants to see this shit. Um, and honestly, I should have just, I should have listened to Harris and just, when you feel like that, which I did before, just don't stream. I stream because I thought I would feel better from doing that, but I, sh I need to be better at differentiating. Like, you know, sometimes you have a bad day at work, you just don't feel good, but like, you can still do it, you know, you'll have fun. But there's also sometimes where you just really should just not do it, you know? And I think it's also because I was feeling burnt out that, and then it's like other stuff that like, it just, in the dystymia, it just kind of hit all, it's just a, a nice, just, it was a nice concoction of all the negative feelings. And I like, I don't want to put it out on anybody or anything like that. Um, so I just like, I just turned off the stream and I just didn't upload anything for like a month, almost a month. And it was, it was hard to even start streaming. I didn't even want, really want to do it. The air, like it was, it wasn't good, but, um, I, I'm glad I'm over that now. Uh, I'm, I'm very glad cause I, I like, I really like doing this. Um, and hopefully the next time that happens, I'll be able to deal with that better. Uh, and yeah, I think that that's uh, that's all for that. So 
gaming. All right. I can't believe it. I almost put a hundred hours. I basically put a hundred hours in Final Fantasy VII Remake. I can't believe I did that. And I still haven't completed the game. Dude. I, oh my God. I still haven't completed the game. I still didn't beat like the secret boss because he's too, too hard. Uh, eh. I didn't beat it. Oh my God. It, it was, I didn't even beat uh, Integrate. I didn't even beat that part. And yeah, I played that so much. I couldn't play it on stream because my PC can't handle that. I don't think my PC can handle that, so I, I didn't do that. Um, so uh, Dark Souls 3. Yeah, that, like I said, that was a, a big one because I, I've never played that before. And that was really fun. And I, I really want to play like Elden Ring and stuff like that. Uh, but first, I want to be, I want to go back and finish it completely, like with the DLC and stuff. But Dark Souls 3 was a, a good highlight because I just, it, it kind of, it stuck out for like the beginning of the year. Um, I should put, I, I didn't put it in, but I'll put it in now. Final Fantasy 14, that's my favorite uh, MMO. Really, it's like the only MMO I've ever played. That and Wizard 101. But like, I really like that game and I want to get back into it. Um, that's really good. Uh, and I said, I just, I just really like it. I like the memes, I like the community, I like the story. I just, I just like the game. Um, and hearing the stories, a lot of the, like people, like legit form friendships from that, from that game. Now, granted, that can happen with like really any game, but like, you know, the guilds and stuff, and like it just seems like really, really cool. Um, uh, maybe I could do that like one day, you know. And uh, guilty gear. So I think October. I said I want to like actually go into a tournament and try out like playing like in a, in a tournament. And due to like the pandemic and stuff like that, I'll, it killed the scene up for a lot of things. After you know, watching people talk about this and just look this stuff up, so yeah, it it, the, it, it killed a, off a lot of the, the the locals and stuff like that. Around where I live, basically, it's really just Smash. <laughs> it's really just Smash Bros. And it, it you know, Smash Bros. is fun. I love I love Smash. Oops. I love Smash Bros. Don't get me wrong. I love Smash Bros. But I don't play Smash Bros. I want to play Guilty Gear, dude. I want to learn Guilty Gear and like Tekken. And they don't they don't really play that around here, dude. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's uh it's it's fun. I still haven't done it yet. I need to practice more because uh I want to go to combo if they're having Combo Breaker. I don't know because it hasn't been announced yet, but. It's supposed to happen in May. It usually happens in May on Memorial Day weekend. I want to, I really want to try and get in if I can, maybe, possibly. We'll see. Um, those are really all the gaming stuff. I mean, I could talk about No More Heroes. No More Heroes is like amazing. Everybody should play them. Uh, those are really good stream games. I can't wait to stream the third one. Uh, soon. Um, I mean, there's what other games I played. Oh, I got into Fortnite. I, that's another one. I didn't put it on there, but yeah, I got into Fortnite because that no building mode. I I love no building mode. I don't want to build. I don't want to build at all. And then Ellie got me the Goku and Beerus. Man, I we were getting dubs. I mean, if you watch the stream, you can watch the streams. There's clips of it. Dubs, I was carrying them. I called me Atlas because I had them on my back. Uh, but uh, it was that was actually it was fun. It was fun. Um, another another game. I guess Tekken, Tekken as well. Like I, I, I kind of want to get into those two games, Guilty Gear and Tekken. But then I, I want to get into Street Fighter Six when that comes out. Um, 
I actually want to like give it a try. I want to, you know, not, not hardcore, but basically hardcore. Uh, any other games? Uh, I don't think so. I talked about all the ones. Yeah, I pretty much talked about all the ones. Anime? Not gonna lie, bro. I don't even remember what anime I watched. I, I legit don't remember. I think that My Dress Up Darling, that was good. That was good. Uh, like, what other anime? Like, I, don't, I don't really watch stuff, the seasonal stuff. That was like the exception to that. Also, hold on. Hold on. Gee, th this is Akari, Akase, no, Akase, Akari, that, she, that's my wife, bro. That is my wife. I love her, bro. She, she pulls off the cosplay so well. She's so cute. Her voice is good. The man, I'm telling you, dude, they got a, a they have a, a girl who likes to cosplay, cosplays the character and sings the, the, the ED. I'm in an anime slash manga about cosplaying. Oh my God. Um, yeah, there's that. Oh, yeah, I watched Gundam Build Fighters. Yeah, I watched Gundam Build Fighters. That was legit. That was actually pretty good. Even though the, the Iori is like... His, his Gundam... Or yeah, his Gunpla is based off of like C. But, you know... Whatever. You know, hey, I was in the show. I was actually in the show. I forgot to tell you guys. I'm actually in Gundam Build Fighters. I'm, uh... Let me make sure I get his name right. Hold on. Where where is it? Kiarara? No, I'm not Kiarara. Oh, that's what she looks like when she's older. Okay, okay, okay. No, I'm like, hold on. I was Neil. I was Niels Nielsen. Um, I'm actually Niels Nielsen. If you didn't, you didn't know. You know, uh. The Sengoku Stray Gundam is amazing. So, you know, I, I am, I am cool. So. So yeah, uh, I was in the anime. That was pretty cool. Uh, let's fix it out of that. So yeah. Uh, what else? <sighs> oh, I watched Vampire Hunter D Bloodlust. That movie is off the chain. That movie is good. I kind of want to watch it again. That movie was actually, I love the art style. It was so good, man. Oh, it's, it's actually a legit good movie. I, I, I like it. What else did I do? Uh, or anime related. I'm watching Zeta Gundam. And Zeta Gundam has been a treat to watch. It's actually been pretty good. Uh... Are there any other anime I watch? I should I should kept this shit down, bro. I don't I don't know. I've been terrible on the anime game, dude. I want to catch up to One Piece. Like I wanna. There's so much stuff I wanna do. I I fin I finished Alabasta or, uh, earlier this year. That was really good, I, bro. Alabasta is such a good arc, man. I can't I can't wait till we see like Nico Robin do something. I want to see her art, even though I kind of already know what it is, but you know, you know. Uh, I've been watching Blue Lock. That's actually pretty good. I'm like two episodes behind, but that's actually good. Uh, Gundam Witcher Mercury, eh, it's okay. 
That's all I'll say. It's okay. So far. Uh, and then Chainsaw Man. That was, uh, overall, I would say that was a pretty good adaptation. Like, I'm, ex I'm interested and excited to see what they do for the second season. When they bring, uh, Re I don't know how I pronounce the name, Rezzy, Rezzy, but Bomb Devil, Fiend, Bomb Girl. I'm, I'm, I want to see what they're going to do with her. Or like how like how well they're gonna adapt it, but it's been a pretty good adaptation. Chainsaw Man is like one of the things where I'll say read the manga and watch the anime. I think they're both equally good. So uh yeah, I gotta, I gotta cut all this off. I can't I can't grow a full beard. Like if anything, I'm I gotta cut I'm basically have to cut this shit off. Cut cut all this off and then like cut some of that and then it's just gonna be this. Or maybe even like shave shave this shit off and like just have this just have stuff on my chin. That's it. I don't know. I don't know what is that called? The Egyptian ponytail? I don't know. Egyptian goatee? You know, I, I mean, I am a king. It makes sense, you know. Uh, oh yeah, dude. The like the mangaka for Yu-Gi-Oh died. The creator for Yu-Gi-Oh. That sucked. That sucked. RP to that man, dude. And it was like he was saving someone too, and yeah, that was like. Uh, that was really sad. That was really sad. Uh, so yeah, but I, I gotta get back into the anime grind, man. I gotta get back into it. Um, so uh, what do I wanna do? Oh, oh yeah, another thing. Uh, I can talk about the, <laughs> I went to see Anamana Gucci in March. Dude, that shit was cool. I'm oh my god. I'm so I'm so happy I went, bro. Like you bro. I'm so happy I went. Like it was a dream come true to see like the band. I basically grew I started listening to them when I was in middle school. It's like a dream to see them live. And I got to see them live playing the music from like my favorite game or one of my favorite games of all time. Like, oh my God. I, I, I really like the Scott Pilgrim. I, I love the movie of Scott Pilgrim. I love the books. Like, come on now. Uh, the game, I love the game so much. Like, I, they need to get that shit off that Ubisoft store, bro. Put that on Steam. But hey, I mean, I'll buy it again. So, look, look, look who's talking. I'm going to buy it again. I love that game. I'm going to have that, have that game on every single system. It's going to be like the Force Unleashed, which had on, like, everything besides a, a PSP and, like, PS3. Imagine imagine beating the DS version of the Force Unleashed. Like, come on. Feels bad. Feels bad, bro. So, there's that. Uh, and then I got to see Trash Taste live tour in, uh, October. That was, or what was that? September. I think September, right? Yeah, September. Uh, that was really cool. Like, legit. Uh, I, I was like a tra I was a trash taste hater. I'm like, oh my god, it's new people. Even though it has Giga on it, who I've been watching since like 2012, and Pataku and was a top 20 coolest anime characters. Or basically, I got spoiled on like 20 fucking shows. Like I got spoiled on Monster, and I got spoiled on Gurren Lagann, uh, or Die Gurren Lagann, Lagann, I think. But uh, yeah, like those were those were the uh, those were really cool. But the the podcast I think is actually pretty dope. Um, I I've, I'm not, I know I'm missing a few episodes, but like overall, I've listened to the majority of the stuff. I think the majority of the after dark stuff at this point. But yeah, like I, it's just I'm a fan. And I don't know why people were complaining that a bunch of YouTubers were on. 
Like I thought of maybe because as a content creator now it's interesting to hear their experiences and making content or their mindset on it. Um like the most I think one of the best episodes is when they had Anthony Padilla on from Smosh. Like that dude has been on he he's like one of the gurus at the of this shit, dude. It's like or or like wise old sages he's been doing this shit basically as long as giga so having those two people there is a pretty cool i'd say well yeah but i think it's a it's pretty cool uh but yeah the live show was hilarious I actually similar to the anamanaguchi thing and uh pretty much cons too like i start to open up more when i'm around my people as as we say gamers unite even though one was like anime fan you know what i mean anime fans unite uh mystic knights unite i think it's like mystic knights unite but yeah that was like really cool and i got to okay i think both of them uh, the, the tour the the trash chase tour and the uh, the Anamanaguchi thing. I, I had Hennessy and Red Bull, so that definitely helped. But I didn't have. I don't think I had any alcohol when I went to my con. So I basically just it's just being around people just a bit more, and then also just taking that that it's like a, a Spider Man, Spider Man into the Spider Verse, one of the best movies ever. Just it's just a leap of faith. How do I know if I'm gonna do? Hey, it's just you just gotta you just gotta go for it. Just it's just a leap. You just, you have to do it. You know you have to try to do it. You know, do that and then think about all the stuff. That, think about the, all the other stuff later. Right now, to be focusing on just doing it, and that's what I did. I just did it. Now it's a funny thing. I don't know. They kept razzing me at the convention because there was this girl. It was like one, not a. They're like handling the the cash, for one of the stands, and uh. I mean, I thought she, <laughs> I don't I don't know why I'm saying this, but I thought she was cute, and apparently, like I was able to have a good conversation with her. But, I I don't know like. I I I didn't, I didn't fumble. Well, no, I fumbled as in I didn't get the bag. Slash, I didn't like what's the word pursue or take that next step. You know, I couldn't. I couldn't ask anything like that. Even though <laughs> she like <laughs> uh, uh, apparently from the uh, uh, the friends I was with, they were like, "Hey man, she was googly eye. She was gaga eye for you, man. I don't know what you were saying, but like, hey man." I think she likes you and I was like I don't know if she likes me man like, I, don't, I don't know if I want to say anything you know I don't want to like I don't want to say it I don't and the thing is like she, I think she kind of she like indirectly said something because uh it was like about Steve I think it's Steve Aoki or Aoki but you know that guy right who I mean I, I don't like go out of my way to listen to his music but I, I think he's cool I think he, his music is, is, a, is pretty cool, pretty, pretty dope, dope, super dope, bass dope, super lit. There you go. So, uh, yeah, uh, it's like she was basically saying, hey, do you want to come with me to that? And I'm like, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, maybe you could do that. I should have just said yes. Like, I, bro, I should have just went. I lit. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's so embarrassing. That's how you fumble. It's like, bro, she's doing like, she's saying this. Like, she's bringing this up because she wants you to go with her, bro. Like, if everything, like, if everything was is actually true, and like they the. The dude who was saying that he he doesn't send to like he he seems pretty observant to be honest. But like if if what he was saying was she was really you know like that, 
you could tell, even though like, bro, we have the mask on, but you could still kind of sort of tell, you know, like she was laughing. I get, I mean, that's cool. You know, hey, that, get a girl to laugh. That's how you make them less, you know, guarded, you know, like that's how you, you, you that's like an icebreaker. You know what I mean? Get someone to be more comfortable, you know, let them guard down, you know, that's how, and hey, then you can maybe ask them out. Uh, but like, yeah, I should have just asked. Or I should have just went. Or asked. I, or I could have asked. And then she, basically, but like I said, like, I'm not, <laughs> that's like the one regret. But like, it's, it's kind of, it's funny, you know, but still, it's like, damn, bro, you're stupid. Or me, I'm like, I'm stupid. Me! Re, I'm stupid. Uh, <laughs> but that was a fun time, though. That was a fun time. Hopefully, this year, or slash next year, uh, you don't know when this is being recorded. But no. Hopefully, uh, 2023 will be better. So, um, finally, what do I want to do? Um... Well, I want to go to Japan. I still want to do that. That's basically been on my bucket list ever since I was a kid. So, I want to go to Japan. I, I want to enter Combo Breaker. Uh, but I, I, I want to get 3K subs on YouTube. And it doesn't say on here. Oh, oh there it is. Grow on Twitch. Because I've been multi-streaming on YouTube and Twitch. And it's been pretty cool. So far, I've enjoyed it. It's cool to have you no, know, like it's just a. I've heard that as a smaller streamer, there's really no reason for you not to do it. And uh, yeah, like it's been pretty good. Like I've been getting people, you know, it, it's and I've been getting people faster than before. So um, I just, I think I just need to. Be, keep being consistent and play the games I want to play, talk about the things I want to talk about, you know, and the people will come. These Doom people came. Hopefully they'll be here. Hopefully hopefully they'll stay when I play those anime games because, like, I'm, I'm playing No More Heroes and Neon White, Hades, maybe Yakuza, uh, you know, I, oh, and Pokemon. I might do a video on Pokemon, bro. I don't know. That's another game I was playing. I didn't beat it yet, but I actually like the new Pokemon game, which is crazy, but I actually like it quite a bit. But like I said, three, 3K subs on Twitch, this, or 3K subs on YouTube, I want to grow on Twitch, uh, just in general. I, I don't really know what, what's a, a, a good thing to say, maybe like 200 followers, 300 followers, I guess. Um... I want to go to more cons because cons are actually pretty fun. Uh, you never know where you're going to meet there. You know, it's like all this, the, the trash taste tour and uh, the other thing. It's like, I, I never knew who all these people I'm going to meet, you know, and they all seem, they're all like cool people to talk to. Uh, I always feel like I talk too much though. I, cause I just gush because I don't really talk about these things. I, I honestly, IRL, I don't talk about this, these things much yeah i don't know just like if i'm not with my IRL friends i don't I, I should be more specific but like if i don't talk about these things with my IRL friends uh i don't talk about these at all I, or i just don't talk so yeah that's why like some people i don't know they think that how i act in work is how i act outside of work that's not necessarily the case, especially if you see me on YouTube or on Discord or whatever. Like, yeah, and you see me at work, two it's like two completely different people. But then again, it's because I have boundaries, but also, yeah, it's a different mindset. Um, I want to put myself out there more. So, in cases like I want to talk to more people. Uh, not fumble like that girl like come on bro it wouldn't have hurt like i should i should have asked her out like the last day i i like something like that uh 
network or at least try to because like the thing is like, i talk to these people and then like i don't know i have a bad habit of like not keeping in touch partially because like i'm sort of a hermit like i, I like my alone time i'm very much so an introvert um like i need i, I need my time to recharge to be by myself and i'm i'm perfectly okay with that you know but yeah but still i should need to be able to like like be be there not be there and like just just talk more you know it would have hurt to do that every once in a while but i want to and I, i've actually i have gotten better but i can always do more i can always be better at that stuff and uh i want to learn guitar um i think that um I want to learn a different, another instrument, not different, but I want to learn another instrument. I should put guitar slash bass because I want to transition to bass because I really like the bass, but I also like guitar as well. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do that, but I, I, I really want to do that. Um, like, I don't, I don't know, but I really want to learn an instrument specifically a guitar i have a guitar it has to be restringed or restrung i don't know how to do that i'm just gonna pay someone else to do it so uh you know maybe in the next year or so i can learn how to do it myself but like for now i'm just gonna get ask another person to do it restring it and uh you know i'll be on my merry way but yeah that's uh that's everything, I think. Um, yeah, man, I just want to learn guitar. I really want to learn guitar and learn these songs. Uh, the, the ears train, then I have to learn the guitar stuff. So I actually apply it in real life. No more air guitar for me. I'm going to be a big, big man, big, big baby, big boy. So, uh, yeah. Um, like I said, uh, I I pretty much failed my goals, but I didn't at the same time. Um, like I, I I some of the stuff I did, other stuff I I still need to work on, and um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't think that's. But hey, I think that's everything. Though. Like, I was, I was thinking about how this is going to be more depressing because, like, the stuff, me not, from not learning Japanese to not doing as well as I think I can be with this content creation stuff and then not hitting my goal weight. Like, it still, it, that stuff still hurts a lot, but not as much as it did before. Um, and I think as long as, as, as long as I know that I haven't given up yet, I think that's why, like, it doesn't, it, like, it's okay. Um, also, I think I need to stop being so hard on myself when it comes to those things. So, uh, yeah. Like I said, uh, Blaze Cake. If you've stuck around this long, you know, uh, Blaze Cake is a secret word. That's how you get. That's how you get people to. That's how you know who are the real ones. You know, if you blaze kick, see if they watch this far. Cause I don't wanna waste people time. But like, yeah, I can just keep talking and talking. But um, hour fifteen. Damn, it's, gonna be, it's probably gonna be a bit more. But that was a twenty twenty two. Overall, better than twenty twenty one, and way better than twenty twenty. Um, yeah, insert music that I might have, I don't know, uh, yeah, really cool, it's been fun, it's been uh, a lot of struggles, trials, tribulations, if you will, but 
I'm not going to give up. Uh, I'm too stubborn to give up. And I just don't want to do that until I, I reach the goal that I, I've set for myself. Um, how I'm going to do it? I don't know, but we're just going to keep going. You know, we're, we're just, it's not going to stop. And uh, I refuse. Uh, oh, I didn't say it. Basically all this stuff. Or, oh, I, I forgot to say. Are, are these things achievable? I'm going to say yes, they are. And we're just going to go. We're just going to go. I'm not going to think of Trump. I'm not going to try to think about all the all the, the what ifs and all that stuff. I'm not trying to do that anymore. I just want to do it. I just want to go. You know, as, as I say, it's a, a leap of faith. But thank you for watching this video if you watch it this far. Uh, I appreciate it. Um, yeah. I might be forgetting some stuff. But maybe not. I don't know. But this is uh, an interesting thing. I'm going to keep doing these. But I'm going to have to watch this one before I watch the other ones to see how they are. Uh, or see what's changed. Or, you know, my ramblings. Uh, but yeah. That's, uh, that's, that's been it. And uh, I'm going to... I'm stealing this from, I'm stealing this shit from you <laughs> because this is where I got the idea from in the first place. Uh, this has been Black Doom, aka Goki, aka Almighty underscore Gangster, aka the Independent Variable. Life's a game. Play to win, and I'll catch y'all later. Peace. Oh. Stay safe.